Almost two years to the day from when we first started, we've been pushed, a little unwillingly, into a match. Steve is here again, but we thought he might be just a bit too good for the robot. So we are going to have a little roll reversal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bristol University for this one frame challenge match that could stretch to two, depending on how it goes. Representing the professional world of snooker, Ted Lowe, a legend in his own microphone. And from Bristol University, the robot. We have an influential audience of university and industry people here. Although they hope to be entertained, it's also very important to me that today can prove to them that we have not been wasting our time on this project. Uh, well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, so it's the robot to break in this first frame. Good tactical break there, hasn't left Ted much. And now Ted Lowe, the ancient youngster from Bexhill on Sea, comes to the table. So Ted Lowe in quite a little bit of trouble here with this shot. Forced to play safe and left what seems to be quite an easy red into the top pocket there for the robot. Slightly biased crowd here we had today. Obviously had a big bet on the robot in the first frame. the green into the corner pocket. A long shot. This is a tough one. Oh. <laughs> so with the break at four, the robot going for a difficult red into the corner pocket. Oh, that was a difficult one. <laughs> so this gives Ted Lowe a chance to make a name for himself. And you can make your own name up. It hits the cushion immediately. Yeah. So you've got, you've got to aim to miss it nearly to pot it. Yeah. After a good start for the robot, Ted's skill begins to show. There we go. Now, oh, blimey. An unfortunate error for the computer gives Ted a good chance to clear the table. Come yeah, down for the pink. that go? Well, yeah, it'll dock it in, won't it? The pockets are enormous. It probably will, yeah. And with seven reds left on the table, it's probably just a formality of these balls going in the pocket. <laughs> Ted now with the very easy pink. Seven. And now just an easy red. But he's missed again. The robot really has rattled him. What a difficult shot here for the robot. And not a bad attempt either. Not a bad example, is it? I think you might just go. If you, when you get around there, I think it goes in there. You could Does it? Yeah, you could pop that and get on the black. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I might throw the double if it's not. I'm actually on the robot oh. side, but I'm just Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> Nothing personal. I've had a bet on the robot. How oh, have you? Yeah, I've got odds. <laughs> yes, ready to go. Head under a bit of pressure here in the early stages of this game. Here we go. Delicate shot there from Ted. <laughs> One of the problems of coursing playing the robot not is to manoeuvre yourself around the table, not the <laughs> black into the corner. Partly due to some extraordinary human errors. <laughs> oh! In and out, in and out, as they say. And partly due to some excellent computing, the score remains quite close for a while. Black into the opposite corner and red into the middle.
No, it decided on a sensible safety shot. But safety first means that the robot might not catch up fast enough. Ted's in trouble. <laughs> he snooker by a lamppost. <laughs> This could be a difficult one. Yes, and that safety shot really paid off. Well done. Great shot. Just for the record, if this pink goes in, it's the highest break yet by this robot. Oh! Oh, it suffered a bit of nerves there, I think. I'll have some chalk this time. The true professional that Ted is. Chalking his tip before he miscues. <laughs> How do you do? Hey! Get a suntan at the same time oh. here, Ted. Using the loop bridge. It's a great effect there. Got himself stuck a bit here. The only professional limbo and snooker player in the world. <laughs> I'm going to try the blue. Going to try the blue. Oh. Foul. Around the middle of the game, the score is still very close. But the pressure is obviously beginning to tell on Ted. And although we know it can't be true, the pressure seems to be getting to the machine as well. Uh, well, should have done. <laughs> After a series of unfortunate misses, the game suddenly looks to have swung in Ted's favour. This is a very, very exciting moment. Clear the lot here. But where's the next red? No, I can eat it if I could get at it. He <laughs> wanted to get at it. <laughs> Another disappointing shot from the robot leaves Ted with a chance to polish off the match. An average shot from Ted brings the robot back into the match, but unluckily with a very difficult shot. Well, that mistake by Ted gets the robot back into the game. But there aren't quite enough points left on the table to gain the lead. Let me skew and right at the end. So the final score is Robot 43, Ted Lowe 55. And so Ted Lowe wins the special challenge match this week. Steve Davis. Mechanical and Engineering Department, Bristol University.